So Minesto was founded uh, almost 10 years ago uh, and the invention is from uh, the aircraft manufacturer Saab in Sweden. Uh, and it's, it's a guy called Magnus Landberg who came up with the idea and it was patented already uh, at that time by, uh, by Saab. Uh, after that the invention was brought to Chalmers University of Technology in Gothenburg uh, and in 2007 Chalmers and the original student group founded the company. Minesto's deep green technology has uh, a global potential far beyond uh, this, this industry uh, at large because of our capacity to, to generate electricity at low currents economically. The potential that we've, we've seen so far uh, is more than the whole nuclear capacity on Earth. The company has grown progressively, so we, uh, we took over a site in Northern Ireland at Porter Ferry where we could actually build, operate and fly quarter-scale kites to the point where we thought we had enough evidence and enough confidence that this could absolutely be a commercial product. And so over the last three years we've been building our first uh, full-scale device, uh, which is what we're testing right now. We've been working uh, in Wales uh, since, since five, six years back actually, the first time we came here uh, to learn about uh, the tidal resources off the coasts, particularly here in, in North Wales. Uh, and, and since then we've had uh, a really good collaboration with the Welsh Government on the project uh, here in Holyhead. Uh, and it's, I think it's fair to say that the potential is so huge that this will, this will really be sort of a new coal industry for Wales with one significant difference. It's going to last forever. It's really a great opportunity for us to develop this, this 80 megawatt project off Holyhead in North Wales. In order to fly the kite, we need first to install some infrastructure. So to provide the reaction force to the kite as it flies it around, um, we need to tie it to the seabed. So we decided to, to build a concrete box which is buoyant, so we could build it completely in a dry dock, um, flood the dry dock and then float it to site and sink it to, to the seabed on the site. The buoy was purpose-built for the, for the project. Um, designed and built by Malin uh, in Glasgow. When it was upended on the quayside, we actually installed all the, all the facilities inside the buoy, and then it was lifted into the, into the, into the Clyde, then towed down the Clyde, then just towed it down to the site. So the, the tether is quite a complicated part of the uh, overall infrastructure because it has to do three functions. First of all, it acts as a tether, so it's a structural connection between the, the kite and the seabed. The second part is it obviously has to transmit power to and from the kite, and it also has to have a data connection for the control of the kite systems. In designing the infrastructure, we did our best to ensure that it didn't interfere in any way with the motion of the kite. In this way, the flight of the kite could be optimised hydrodynamically so we could maximise the energy capture by the turbine on the kite. So one of the things we, we, we tried very early on was the launch and recovery system of the, of the kite. Um, we, we decided that we were going to use soft strops uh, to lift it in and out because we didn't want to damage the kite both lifting it in and out of the water. The challenge was getting the kite um, in and out of the strops while it was in the water. So we spent some time practicing that in the harbour in calm waters and then we went offshore into real seas to, to make sure that we could still do it safely. And that turned out to be very successful. The, the first flight we ever did we had an almost perfect 
uh, figure of eight, which astoundingly gets us all, but uh, was very pleasing for those guys that designed the control system and, and implemented the control system. Now, gone back to the site and flown the kite um, with the joy of actually generating power. I've been in this industry a long time and uh, I'm always amazed how good people are at designing and, and building and assembling these things because what we've given ourselves is quite a complicated system in terms of the design of the infrastructure, building the infrastructure, installing the infrastructure and doing the same with the kite. And it, it never ceases to amaze me that when you put it all in and you plug it all together, it bloody well works. Uh, we need complementary energy sources to solar and wind. Uh, those are great, but they are not uh, reliable and predictable. Uh, so tidal, we can predict for tens of thousands of years. Uh, ocean currents is continuous 24 seven.